Hi, welcome to Anybody Who Ain't Anybody. My name is Tim Zykowski. Today we're in the lobby of the Troy Marriott, just outside Detroit, and I'm sitting here with an amazing comic, Geechee Guy. Geech, hey. welcome to the show, man. How are you? Very gracious to be here. Thank you. Yeah, what took you out to make you live in Vegas? Well, we, well, I moved out there the first time in 1996 and, um, for my career, and I stayed there, and we bought a home, and we stayed there till, um, 19, until like 2000, 99. And then I took a job up in Reno for a year and went up there and then stayed there for five years and bought a house and had my own show for a couple of years at Harvey's and Harrah's and Circus Circus. And then I left there and moved to the Virgin Islands for um, two years. Really? Down in St. Croix, yeah. And we worked um, cruise ships and stuff out of there. And then um, came back, um, did some stuff. My, um, you know, had some family business that we had to take care of. My, my wife's grandmother, um, lived to be 103 and um the last couple of years of her life we were hanging closer to uh, yeah. where she was so it was yeah, um, and yeah. now and nice. then and then this opportunity came up and um went to vegas yeah it seems to me that been there six months that uh I, I like that you put it together you had the idea and so many people have a good idea but they don't follow it through and make it happen or something dis d derails it well yeah well it's just i mean you can't force somebody to make a show I mean I've got a I've got a half dozen you know I mean I write you write an idea and you pitch it and if they say no you don't throw it away you don't forget okay. about it no, it's right. just there I've got I've got seven or eight shows that I've pitched that could still you know I mean if somebody wants them they, oh, they right. come up with them in a week yeah there's but, a yeah I'm, you know, I got just, a I got a couple three of them like that that I'm but yeah we were just I had the idea about five years ago um it was and I pitched it to Carrot Top's manager at the time, and he liked it and, and pitched it in Vegas, and they passed on it. And, um, and then we just sat, you know, just kind of sat there. And, and, and it kind of worked out with, um, what's his name, Todd? Todd uh, Paul. Todd Paul, where the room was there. It's available. It's almost in between shows, that the time slot. Right, pretty much. What was available, there was a, um, he did a 7 o'clock show, and there was a 9 o'clock show. And then on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there was an 11 o'clock show. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there wasn't an 11 o'clock show. And I said, why don't we go in on that Monday through Thursday, 11 o'clock spot? And that way they've got a seven or nine and 11 every night, seven days a week. Oh yeah. And we went in on that premise and- Well, that makes sense. It was a six week contract and we did real well. And after it was done, we kept going. And then it did so well that what they decided to do is they, moved me and Todd show out of that lounge room that it was in the lounge show room and they built us a showroom up a new theater upstairs oh, nice. and they had an old ba they had a banquet room yeah and they built the banquet room for us and um, and converted it so, and then they added so now then they what they did they added another show they added a, um, an Elvis show so the Elvis show goes is the showroom downstairs is Elvis show and then a mail review show and then Prince at 7, 9, and 11. And then we're 8 and 10 upstairs. So they've got five shows at Hooters. It's going real well for them. If you could be doing anything in a business, if you could just do what you wanted to do, yeah, what would it be? This? You'd be doing this. Well, I mean, essentially, I mean, I, I, there's a joke I've, I've said for years is, um, well, I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, sure, there's levels and stuff. And this is so funny. It's like, you know, people, that's, I, I, and I'll, you'll, you'll see me go off into these ADD things a little bit, but like um, younger comics, I like hanging out with younger comics because it, it you know, reminds me that how cool what I'm doing is. I mean, even though I've been doing it 25 years, yeah. you know, yeah, you, you want to be able to you know, wank, wake up and, you know, thank God every day that you get to be a comic and, and you feel that. But, you know, after a while you have stuff to do. You have a, job, a show to get ready for and you have an interview to do. And it, you really, you know, it, it really becomes your life and it's great. But, but it's fun sometimes to see these younger guys and hang around them to, to realize what you really do have and that, what, what, that these guys want it and that these guys would, yeah. these yeah. Guys would give their eye teeth to do what you're doing. And, and, and even though you give your eye teeth to do what Carrot Top was doing or, oh, oh, or George I Wallace, I, you have to keep it in context that I'm still there. So you're, what you're doing is uh, being wise enough to appreciate how good you're doing how how much fun you're having and the, yeah, yeah 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 because because you know it, it's easy to go i wish i wish i want i want uh, this 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 okay and but like i said and 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 you know and it's 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 nice to, 
it's a nice thought to just be in a constant mode of thankfulness that you get to do this. But like I said, after doing it 25 years, the actual life of it, you know, you don't get to do that. You're too busy You're living right. your life. Right. And it's a, right, right. It it's still a job. It's, it, I, call it, I call it hard fun. It's, it's not work, but it's not easy. It's, 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 I yeah. call it backbreaking fun. Oh, see, that's a, that's a good... That's it a good. is. It's, it's back-breaking fun. It, it, it's, it's, it's the hardest thing you'll ever do, but it's, it's great. It, it's, Yes, I mean, yesterday and the day before, I was working on a... And on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'll be working on a Spielberg uh, film. And it's 14 hours a day, 15 mm -hmm. hours a day. And, and Monday, I have to be there at 6 a.m. Right, right. And you never know what time you're going to get off. The director doesn't even know what time you're oh, yeah, going to yeah. get off. Is this one of those... Uh, how long are you going to be here today? And I don't know. Well, well Bill you... Maher had a line in a book about being young and doing comedy that, yeah, we, we're having so much fun that we don't realize how hard it is. Oh, yeah. I mean, we don't realize what we're really trying, the, 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 the almost impossible odds of what we're trying to do is we're trying to go from here up to here. And that's the thing. He says, yeah, if, if we sat back and realized what we were trying to do, we, we would probably just quit. <laughs> well, yeah, it, it, it's almost impossible. Yeah, to even, yeah. You know, Guinness World Book of Records. Oh yeah, for telling the most jokes in an hour. Right, six hundred and seventy-six. Six hundred and seventy. That, and that's what got a laugh. They had to get a laugh, or they didn't count. So I actually. Is that right? So you might have had more. I told about eight hundred and fifty jokes. Yeah, in an hour, and six hundred and seventy-six. See, to me, that kills me. Yeah. That kills me. Because I, I was talking. You know, I was at the shoot last, yesterday, and I was talking about. I said I'm going to be sitting down with. Uh, a Gucci guy, and he did 676 jokes. I didn't know the technicality about the had to have a laugh thing. Right. Right? Um, and uh, I, if I, I couldn't tell 676 jokes in a day if wow. somebody put a gun in my head. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know, so pow, 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 the brain is working. Bam, you just have to rattle them off. A guy goes to the doctor, and the doctor says, you have to stop masturbating. And the guy says, why? And the doctor says, because it's distracting me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stuff like that. Stuff. <laughs> and it's just bound. Five, yeah. uh, five or six seconds and a laugh. Yeah, yeah. Not even. I mean, I had to tell. Yeah, I pretty much. Yeah, about five or six yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah. Geech, you're amazing. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, very for, appreciate your thanks time. Thanks for having me. Yeah. You know, yeah, wonderful anytime. for you to be here. And I will. Uh, I'm glad we finally got to do it after. You know, all this, all and I, I will. Um, Several miss. I will take as good a care of this starts. as I can. And, oh, no worries, yeah. Uh, before you leave, let me get your contact information. Okay. Uh, get you guy. All right. Thank you. Take care. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Okay, good.